Hey there, I just wanted to take a second to show you my favorite tips when creating or editing Seesaw activities. So tip number one, if you've got a template where students need to type in something, whether it's you know a random letter here or even a word or whatever it might be, go ahead and set up the text box for them so that they don't have to come here and click this and resize it and whatnot. So if you set it up for them, let me show you, you can go ahead and set it up for whatever size you think is good. And then you would just go ahead and click your three dots, say duplicate, and then you would go ahead and continue to do this for them. That way when they come to the activity, the only thing they have to do is double tap inside of a box in order to type the letter. They don't have to click this and resize. So that's tip number one. Tip number two, let me get rid of these. Tip number two is if you want them to drag and drop something versus type it themselves, I'm going to go ahead and put it over here. Go ahead and set up the size, type what it is you want them to have typed, then move it over, hit your three dots and say duplicate because I notice here it also needs a U. So you're going to need more than one U. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate it a few times so you get the idea. And then I'm going to come here and I'm going to lock the size because I don't want them to be able to resize it when they are dragging it. I want it to stay so that it fits perfectly. So you can see that it fits perfectly inside of there without resizing. Then I'm going to stack them on top of each other so that when students move, get that there. So when students move to answer something, there's still another one that they can use to go to another answer. So I would do that and then I would come here and I would create another letter. Again, I want to put it right in there so I make sure it's the right size. And this time I need some A's. So I'll go ahead and move it over here. I'll hit my three dots, say duplicate. I'll do that a few times. And then again, I'll hit my three dots and lock the size because I don't want them to be able to change it. And then again, I will stack them. I just need to make sure I have enough of each letter so that um, it fits however many times it needs to be used. So those are my tips to go ahead and set up the text box for them, to go ahead if you're doing draggables to make multiple and stack them up and also to lock them so that the shape can't change. Then my last tip is in the directions. Notice me hit save. Notice in the directions you see these little icons. To do that you can use something, um, they're little cheats, but basically it's colon and then a special word colon. So in this case it makes the plus button. This one makes the green check. Um, this one is the move tool where students will click on it to drag and drop items. Uh, this one is the text box tool. Of course, I think you should set the text boxes up for them, but if you wanted them to create their own text box, that's the cheat for that image. Let me hit save and I'll show you. So there's those images, okay? And then finally, if you are, move this down so you can see better. There we go. If you are wanting to share this with another teacher, go ahead and say share activity. You can copy the link and then email it to them, or you can email it directly to teachers. That way you'll be able to share with your colleagues. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out.